a lot of trouble. Yes, you are. The good thing about it is the Philly Godfather said bet against them. And we made money off that. The man was 64.8% last year in the NFL. He's killing it right now in college football. We finally got the NFL back. I'm so excited. By the way, 45,410 tests right now, COVID tests, have been in the NFL. One positive. One. Love we it. told you in this show, you can play sports and you can play it safe, and that's exactly what's happening. This man plays it safe because he wins. He does nothing but win. The Philly Godfather, what have you got coming up for us? Week one, NFL. I mean, Raiders, Panthers, originally this game opened up a coin flip, which was really surprising to me. I mean, uh, we got two teams here heading in uh, polar opposite directions, in my opinion. Uh, the Raiders are supposed to make some noise this year. They got the new stadium out there in Vegas down the street from the Mandalay Bay. Uh, while the Panthers, they're looking to rebuild. They bring in the first-year new uh, head coach, Matt Rule, after a real disappointing 5-11 and season. Uh, they had an atrocious, atrocious negative 130-point differential last year and an ugly 2-6 record on the road. So there's no way, in my opinion, the odds makers should have opened this game with coin flip. I mean, just looking back to last season, the Panthers lost uh, eight straight games to finish the year, nine of the last ten by an average margin of 19 points. So they were getting crushed uh, the whole year. And, I mean, you look fast forward to this year, what's really changed for this Panthers team? I mean, I, I do like the fact that they brought in Joe Brady uh, for their offensive line. Uh, but there's definitely going to be some growing pains with him. You know, first-year NFL coach, yeah, you can tear up college football, but can you do the same thing in the NFL? Matt Rule, great college coach as well. But now he's in the, you know, in the league with the big boys. So it's going to be real difficult for these uh, coaches in their first year to have any type of success. You got to incorporate a new quarterback here. Uh, you got to redesign the uh, – basically in the middle of a global pandemic. That's going to be real difficult. Then you got to beat a Raiders team at home with no fans in the stands, that's going to be, that's going to be really hard in my opinion. I just, it's going to be tough for the Panthers to win this game, man. Sure. I like the fact that uh, they brought in Teddy Bridgewater um, and he looked, you know, he looked good last year with the saints, but you got to remember, man, at last year in six starts, he had 228 passing yards with a third three Saints team that was stacked with. And he had the luxury of being protected by arguably the best offensive line in football uh, last year. The Saints only gave up 25 sacks on the whole season. They ended up ranked third overall in pass protection, and they were actually dealing with injuries, I mean, throughout the whole season. So I guarantee you this year that he's not going to look as good as he did last year behind an offensive line that surrendered 58 sacks and was ranked in the basement of the NFL in protecting the quarterback. They were giving up almost four sacks a game last year, this Carolina Panthers team. Now, they brought in, um, what's his name, Russell Kong. So that should help out their offensive line a little bit. And the Panthers do, obviously, they got the greatest weapon in the NFL right now in Christian McCaffrey. They got some real good wide receivers and DJ Moore and Robbie Anderson. But this game is going to be one in the trenches, as most NFL games are on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, the Raiders have a much better offensive line. I think they're ranked top five or top six last year in protecting the quarterback. So that should negate Carolina's uh, strength on defense, which is their strong pass rush. The Panthers' secondary is full of inexperienced young uh, kids out there playing. Their linebackers are suspect. cookley has gone. The whole middle of that field is going to be wide open for Derek Carr. And don't be surprised if we're mentioning Derek Carr at the end of the season for MVP candidate. I mean, you bring in Henry Ruggs. You got Brian Edwards. You bring in a pretty good Nelson Aguilar. Uh, they retained Darren Waller and Hunter Refro. This is probably the best supporting cast that Derek Carr has, has had in his entire career. So I like the Raiders here. I mean, I can keep going and going, keep breaking down this game. This line originally opened up, like I said, a coin flip, a pick em. It's moved up to as high as minus three in some places. If you can still find two and a half, lay the two and a half. If you got to lay 170 on the money line, do that as well. I can't see the Raiders losing this game. Like I said earlier, these are two teams headed in polar opposite direction. Uh, the Raiders are going to make some noise this year. Take the Raiders. Coach, uh, what do we do when the Philly Godfather says to bet the Raiders? Oh, bet the Raiders! We oh, fire. fire! We oh, fire! fire. Oh. And like the OK Corral. <laughs> we turn into Doc Holiday and <laughs> Wide Earth. I'm, I'm your I, butterfly. I, 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 lo I love that bet because they're not playing against my Chiefs. I will say this. I just drove past the stadium in Vegas 
a couple of weeks ago, and it was brilliantly done. It's in the colors of the Raiders, which normally they, you don't do, but they did a phenomenal job. People are going to love how this stadium looks. So I, I like the Raiders, except they're not going to win the AFC West, well, you, and you, you, they're not going to have you, the MVP. You give your endorsement to the Philly Godfather's pick. You, you actually like it. No, I, I like the pick. I do not like when he said that Derek Carr could be the MVP. Don't I like be that. Mentioned. I said he's going to be mentioned. Oh, now, you're ba- now you're backpedaling. Play back to like the, the stadium. stadium. Play, play, I said, play, 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 don't be surprised if he's mentioned <laughs> for the MVP. He's going to have a great season, man. He's going to I have like a great Derek Carr. He's a good dude. Yeah. Good dude. So. You know, being from the South, you know what happens when you play a country song backwards, don't you, Coach? You get your dog back, your truck back, your <laughs> yeah. girlfriend back. That's, that's what happens when you play a country song backwards. As that's an old right. Earl Haggard fan. 